So if you haven't seen this before, we have a ton of different integrations that you can use um, in, in Gitbook. We also have a full platform. You can build uh, new ones, but I'm gonna explore some of the ones that we have already built. So these are ones that have been built on top of our platform. We have a lot of different analytics ones. Again, some of these are a little bit more geared towards public uh, documentation, but things like Git Sync are really useful if again, you're using uh, like CI CD workflows and wanna tap into that, which we'll explore in two weeks. The interactive ones are very useful if you're working on displaying information that you might have in different tools. A lot of support widgets, again, probably a little bit more for published stuff and visitor authentication if you are working across uh, like protected docs and you need a, like a sign on before the docs are published and, and viewed. But we have a ton of pre-installed and ready to use uh, integrations as well. They're all supported by iFramely and it basically allows you to display a rich embed. There's a ton of different ones that are supported out of the box. Uh, you can also, if you wanna see, basically just paste it inside of Gitbook and check, or you can check it here to see if it's uh, if it's working or what's wrong with, with the link that you're trying to post. So check that out if you are having issues with it or reach out to us. But I wanna show you how this might look. Uh, so for what I've done is prepared the first one, which is a Miro board. And this is just one that's, uh, connected out of the box. And it's so simple to basically add this to a Gitbook site. You can just copy the URL inside of here. Um, oops, let me just name it so we know what we're working on. Um, and we can go ahead and just paste, paste that in. And just like that, we have basically our mural board inside of here, we can interact with it. Uh, and because this is public and published, anyone who has access to it will be able to see it. This is one thing that I do want to shout out as well, um, because this does trip some people up sometimes. Make sure, uh, or if you are, I should rather say, if you're having issues with some of the um, embedded experiences, like they're not showing or maybe just displaying as a link, uh, triple check to make sure that the thing that you're trying to embed is is public and other people can access it so things like private youtube videos or things that might require a sign on uh, those aren't going to be embedded uh, automatically because you need to have the user uh, sign in first and in some cases the uh, embedded kind of experience might might have that built into it but in a lot of cases it doesn't so just check that out if you're having issues with it as well Another cool one that I like as well uh, is the, if your engineering team is working with uh, like GitLab or GitHub, we can, we show a lot of embedded things like uh, out of the box as well. So the first one that I wanna show is the, uh, um, the gists. So if you have a public gists, this is already supported out of the box. Um, and again, the same thing, you can go ahead and just paste it in and you're going to get a nice block here that's formatted um, and be able to kind of view it uh, and interact with it here. So you can go ahead and basically add this directly to uh, your docs Anything, anytime that this is updated as well. This is also gonna update inside of here as well. So you can kind of just have one source and keep it there. But if you are working with um, more internal stuff that you don't want to publish necessarily to, um, uh, that you don't want to publish publicly, what you can also do is basically uh, use a integration that we have uh, called Git, GitHub files. Uh, and what this allows you to do is embed actual files within a repository that don't live in just like a public gist like this. So this is a integra integrations platform that we have. And for our purposes, what I wanna do is actually embed just a few lines of this here. So I'm gonna do is highlight this configurations and you can highlight really whatever lines that you wanna embed in any file. <clears throat> and as you copy this and paste it over to uh, the page and we hit paste, 
it's not going to work. Uh, but the reason is, is because we haven't installed the uh, integration. And what's cool and what I, why I wanted to show this is because if you do post this, this, and this happens with any of our integrations that try to unfurl or embed something in the page, it'll give a little uh, note saying, hey, actually, we tried, it didn't work, but we have an integration for it. And we can install it right from this message here. Oops, that's the wrong one. Let me go back here. So what I want to do is, well, install this first. And after we do that, we do need to enable it inside of a space. So let's do this in the integrations. And I think it should be good to go. Oh, we just have to authorize this. Uh, and this is what else I wanted to mention about this. This, uh, applica this um, basically, oops, let me, do this really quickly as well. Basically, what I want to mention is because this is going to unfurl um, GitHub files that might be a part of a private uh, organization or a private repository, um, this will require the person to, who's adding the integration to sign in because the files will be unfurled and displayed inside of the space as if it was that user, uh, basically. And I'll show you, show you how this works basically as well. So just keep that in mind as well. Uh, you will need access to these files as well. Uh, and actually, oh, it already worked already. So before where it was previously just showing this here, now we're able to read the, um, the file itself that we have uh, pasted uh, here. 